Welcome to Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute's training facility. Every detail is designed to teach you taxidermy. Individual work areas, airbrushing systems, small classes, evening seminars, free in-school housing with kitchen. Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. More instruction, less cost. Call today, 1-877-BUSHBUCK for your free institute catalog. Hi, John Reinhardt with Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. At age 21, I was a janitor. Then I trained with a professional taxidermist. Starting out part-time, I improved my life. A couple of years later, I was doing full-time what I loved, taxidermy, with freedom to spend time hunting and fishing and with my family. What's your janitor job? I can get you out. Call today, 1-877-BUSHBUCK for your free Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute catalog. Well, welcome back to You Mounted Taxidermy. I'm John Reinhardt, and we've just finished the sewing, and I spent a little time around the ears just doing a little grooming. I don't want this hair to dry out too much while I'm mounting. We sewed an inch over, so we've got a little extra skin here, and now we're just going to staple it off. And you staple with the hair grains. And you hold your finger about a quarter inch from the edge and move around. That way you get a nice, even fit. I'm only going to go so far because I've got to turn this over. Now by kind of stapling with the uh, hair, By staping with the hair, this, will, this won't show quite as much. And I, a little further over here. I don't want to go too far because I want to turn over and work on the uh, brisket. Brisket being the key part of the shoulder. But we've got this, so we'll just take a nice sharp tool and uh, we'll just It's not the sharp one. That's the sharp one. And cut real close to the staples. Down to where we ended up stapling. That looks good. Okay. Feels good. Now on the front, I'm going to visually line up the brisket here, the front part. Watch the indentations here, the hair patterns. Move them in, compress them. But we're primarily going to show you how to work the back this time. This of course is visual. And then each corner here, I have to make a determination on how far I want to bring the other outside of the brisket. Now a newer mannequin's got a nice dip here. But hey, I'm out on my old mannequin that I want all those ribbons with, and pretty important that I stay with the same pattern, same mannequin. And besides, I save over 50 bucks on a new mannequin. All right, a couple staples here. I want to be real careful on my brisket that I have just the right amount of pull from up here. That looks pretty good. Because there's a lot of moving in the skin here. I, I can run this up further, I can run it down. But whatever I do, I want to make sure I balance with the other side. And continue the cut. Brisket's all finished. We're going to move into the face. Again, I rotate it upside down to make sure gravity's helping me. Get some hide paste around the muzzle now. And I've put a big gob up on top of the chin here so I can get to it easily and just work around. One on the lips. As you remember, the hide paste we had on here before really stuck well. This is a generation better. Okay, here we go. Now, the key to starting a deer is to get the nose properly positioned. It's all in the nose. And it's right there. In the corners right there. It, it starts the whole face. And from here we just plain move on up the animal, 
but it's really important to get that in. And that's usually a series of two pins. One in this corner. There. Got the front corner locked. Then from the front corner we go to the top lip. Again, everything stays balanced. I'm watching my hairlines very closely. And I got a pretty good sized lip lock. I was pretty generous with the lip lock when I did the original mount, but I've got plenty of lip here, so I have to get in front and take a quick look at this. All right, she's looking balanced. We then fold over the top lip, position it, and again, watching these white and black furry little bottom chin hairs. And in we go. Oh, perfect fit. Oh, that is so smooth. I like it when they go together. That's easy. A lot of textures have a tendency to make this slot too thin, and boy, is it tough to get that lip in. Well, we're back in position. We're going to work on the ears next. I have an order where I go to the ears, and I look at the antlers to balance them, and it's looking pretty good. Okay. And I want to have the ears forward a little bit and down. I don't want rain going in the ears. I see so many ears where they're curled back, and, well, Nature said we don't want rain in the ears. I got a, th a wire sharpened, a three edge. I'm going to drill it right on through, in through the cartilage, and into the mannequin. There we are, we're in the mannequin. That'll hold my ear in place, and we'll do the same thing in the other one. Looking great. Okay. The tips of the ears, sometimes there's a little bit of uh, material that we don't really spend the effort to open up because where you can pop an ear. So all we do is just slide in a cardboard here and here using a jumbo paper clip. That will assure the tip of the ear will not curl. We've saved the best to last. I always save the eyes for the end because that brings them to life. And besides, I like the pleasure of seeing the animal finally done in its totality, which means everything but the eyes. So we're going to take a break and come back we're going to show you Eyes Right on a 35-year-old mannequin. By the way, Eyes Right products are still available to buy. In 1975, I started the world's first state licensed taxidermy institute, teaching sportsmen how to become professional taxidermists. Today, Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute continues to teach the most advanced taxidermy techniques, starting you on the path to owning your own business and living the American dream. Being your own boss. It all starts with training at Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. Call today, 1-877-BUSHBUCK for your free institute catalog. This is the Reinhardt 18 to 1. There aren't any celebrities around it. That's because the celebrity does not make the target any better. The target won't last longer with a celebrity endorsement. If you need to be told how long it will last, the industry's only one year broadhead guarantee is on the back of every 18 to 1 sold. If you can shoot out all 18 sides within one year, we'll replace it. Hassle-free, guaranteed. Ask for one at a retailer near you. Demand the best. Demand a guarantee. Demand a Reinhardt.